Good day all. Today I am going to share insights about the first IELTS test date that is the 6th of July 2024. These predictions are based on the recent IELTS examinations. Overall the exam on this test date will be easy to moderate. Let's look into the listening section now. The part 1 of the listening section will relate to a general inquiry and you will be required to fill up the missing information with one word or a number. This section is the easiest compared to others of the listening test, and if you prepare well, you can get all 10 questions correct. Next is the part 2, where you can expect matching information, selection of letters and map plan or diagram labeling. This section will be easy to moderate. The part 3 of the IELTS listening test is the trickiest section. Here you can expect pick from list and multiple choice questions. For this section, the audio will be a bit faster than the other sections, and the overall level will be easy to moderate. Moving on to the section 4, here you will listen to a monologue based on academic or socially relevant content, and you are required to complete the missing information in the form of a summary or sentence completion with one word only. Next up is the reading module. The academic candidates in the passage 1 can expect easy to bit moderate level, having question types yes no not given and fill up the gaps such as sentence or note fill ups. Passage 2 will be moderate and you will be assessed for matching statements, table completion, and multiple choice questions. Lastly the passage 3, where you can expect summary completion, multiple choice questions and true false not given question types. Let's look into the reading module for the general candidates. Here in passage 1 the candidates should focus on sentence, note or form fill-ups along with yes no not given or true false not given. In passage 2 focus on MCQ, list of heading in which paragraph contains the information question types. And finally in passage 3 general candidates can expect summary completion, true false not given and matching information. Both academic and general candidates should pay more attention to passages 2 and 3, as here you can expect a bit more complex sentences and vocabulary. Turning on to the writing section, for task 1 academic, prepare bar, table and line chart. And for task 2 concentrate on, to what extent do you agree or disagree, discuss and give your opinion, and positive negative essay questions. Whereas the general candidates can expect an informal letter. And for task 2 concentrate on, to what extent do you agree or disagree, discuss and give your opinion, and problem solution essay questions. Do check out our listening prediction videos for the month of July, where you can get ample of material for practice. All the best for your IELTS exam. If you like the video do hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in.